I'm Michaela Schifrin, current record holder for most World Cup victories. Michaela Schifrin, two times Olympic gold medalist, seven times Alpine skiing world champion, 16 crystal globes, and bearing an unparalleled tally of 97 World Cup wins, thus earning the esteemed title of greatest of all time. You are Seeing Schifrin's success, one might easily assume that skiing and Michaela were a case of love at first sight. I was pretty unsure about the sport for quite a few years, but I really liked hot chocolate and french fries, and that was always the snack we would have when we went skiing, so then I was like, mm, maybe this isn't so bad. So... Let me get this straight. If it weren't for hot chocolate and French fries, we might have missed out on witnessing the rise of skiing's most successful competitor. When I started my first races, like kids' races, mm -hmm. then I started to feel like this is the sport for me. From her early days in kids' races to her current stature, one might naturally assume a fiercely competitive drive propelled her forward. My relationship with competition it's funny I'm not really very competitive I think the only place where I feel really competitive is skiing and in the rest of my life I'm kind of <laughs> I kind of okay like somebody else can win well if that's Michaela's motto in life it's surely not her motto in skiing dominating her sport and letting very few competitors win but beyond the medals and the champagne showers, success does come with its challenges. The better you get, the harder it is to be good. It's harder to function as an athlete with notoriety than to, to do the work that you're meant to do when people know your name. In some ways it feels more difficult to have a personality that's not only connected to the sport because the world knows me for my connection to the sport but it's also a pretty wonderful gift that I've gotten to be able to do this on a high level for so many years. While we see Michaela shine on top of podiums and in TV interviews the crowd's favorite confesses all. Fundamentally I am not a extroverted person. I am not very social. I need recovery time from social interaction, from media, from from being in the public eye. I need to recover from that. And I think skiing is actually something that works for me because when we're racing and I'm of course in the public eye when I'm racing, I c it's still like I'm in a bubble that I can focus on the task, I can focus on my job, I can focus on my turns. It's not always taking energy. Like, skiing gives me energy. And all of the extra stuff, that takes energy. But then the skiing gives it back a little bit. Navigating the relentless spotlight as an introvert must pose its challenges. Besides finding solace in skiing, what's Michaela's secret to maintaining peak performance and staying upbeat? I deal with the spotlight by taking naps, and I feel the safest when I'm napping. Okay. <laughs> so kids, take note. The secret recipe for success includes plenty of hot chocolates, French fries, and naps. Before Michaela goes on to winning yet another race or taking a nap, let's hear what her wishes are for the future of her sport to continue to cultivate an environment where athletes can perform at their best more consistently. And that performance is valued because I think the stories that we have with every single athlete, not only the star athletes, but every athlete has an incredible story to tell. And there's stories of resilience and endurance and challenge and overcoming fear and things that people will tie themselves to and they'll become followers of the sport because they see the stories that they can relate to. Michaela Schifrin, with an illustrious career matched only by her remarkable personality and humility. We wish the greatest of all time all the best for the future and perhaps 
even reaching the monumental milestone of 100 victories very soon.